In few words, what I do is to care for the dead, as many other people care for the living. In conflict settings, after disasters, the effects of not treating the dead in a dignified way live on in the minds of the affected communities and is part of the tragedy of the war or the disaster. We're working for the living, for the relatives of the missing, for the bereaved families. The need to certify a death is a universal necessity recognized by the legal frameworks of all countries, which requires a formal procedure which the ICRC Forensic Services can contribute to. Dealing with the missing is sometimes the most difficult part of peacemaking. Political power of the missing and dead is huge. The neutrality of the ICRC helps you at the end do your work better. It makes uh, the authorities or the families to believe more in what you say. The forensic skills and knowledge are used exclusively for humanitarian purposes. Where armed conflict uh, is taking place, in many cases the authorities are overwhelmed. We are talking about not one dead body from a murder at the morgue, but thousands or hundreds. And that's what makes it different, that you have to adjust the procedures to be able to respond to a large-scale event. We often work in contexts where many of the high-tech portfolio that we're used to see in some TV series do not exist. So our forensic specialists have to make best use of sometimes very limited resources to fulfill their tasks. It also opens an incredible door for inventiveness, for developing new tools, scientific procedures, etc. Every day is different. Sometimes you go to the field and you are present during exhumations. Sometimes you go to the morgues, you t discuss with the forensic experts. Sometimes you are conducting training activities. One day we talk to ministers or even presidents on forensic humanitarian action on management of human remains. And, and the next day we go with a grave digger and show him how to mark a particular grave site. You are under pressure, you have lots of uh, bodies, but you also have lots of families, you have colleagues, you have stress. It's a challenge that we face, and at the end, very, very rewarding. We are part of the protection department of the ICRC, but on the other side, we have projects where we set up forensic infrastructure. We work a lot with protection delegates, with uh, colleagues from weapons and contamination department, with health department, so we can conduct different projects. You work together in such a way that it's a powerful experience. It's a sort of a family. You also feel backup because you are part of a big organization. Having a wide network of world-leading forensic specialists for overcoming some of the challenges that we face in the field. You need to be respectful. You need to respect the environment in which you are, instead of imposing directions. You need to be able to work in teams, but they need to be able to look at systems. Commitment to humanitarian values as a core requirement for working in the ICRC. To be passionate about it. To really believe that you can make a difference with what you know. The ICRC give me the opportunity to apply my skills in a way that has more impact. Whenever I am able to give the remains back to a family and when families ask you questions and you are able to provide answers, this is the most rewarding moment. This is when you feel that I'm actually in the right place, doing the right thing.